Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Buffalo Sports Center video. I am Don, and today we are going to answer the question together, is Don Granado a good head coach? And I know I'm supposed to keep all of my viewers engaged for a long period of time, but let me just preface this by saying, yes, yes he is. I don't know where the no's come from, who are saying the no's. If you say no, please tell me why. I don't understand. But before I get ahead of myself too much, let's talk quickly about what Don Granado has been able to do in his first three seasons. Well, basically two and a half seasons as the Sabres full-time head coach. Now, he took over, of course, from Ralph Kruger after Kruger lost 12 straight games in a row. The team looked dead. The organi organization was helpless. They were trash. It was bad. Toxic. Eichel, Taylor Hall, Sam Reinhardt, Rasmus Ristolainen, and everyone was sucking. And Don Granado was brought in. He was the assistant coach under Ralph Kruger, and he was told, Look, Don, we need you to go in there and just shepherd this team try to make them have fun again try to get the fans to like this team again and through the COVID shortened season he only coached uh 28 games he went 9 16 and 3 uh that included the final six games of that t uh 18 game losing streak oh my god 18 games now the team definitely got better but was there an indication that Don Granado was going to be the Sabres coach in the future? No, absolutely not. The team was still bad. They were not very good, although they were dealing with a crap ton of injuries, namely to Eichel, Linus Olmark. They had a whole goalie crisis where at one point Michael Hauser, their ECHO goalie, had to be brought in for a couple of games. So, I mean, given all of the circumstances, Don Granado did a fine job. He was all right. So... It, but it, it was a surprise, though, when he was announced as the Sabres' full-time coach past that season, in that uh, 2021 offseason. He was given a three-year deal, and he's two years through that deal so far, and I believe he just got extended again because of all the progress and improvements he's made. And there is a big difference. We could all see when Kruger was coaching the team and when Don Granato was coaching the team. Kruger had a very rigid, dumb system, all of which I explained in my video essay talking about why Ralph Kruger was the worst coach ever in Sabres history. Don Granato instead likes to play a more expansive, open, fast, energetic, free-flowing game where it's all about the offense. It is about letting the players have fun. And through his first two and a half years, he certainly accomplished that. The team has scored a crazy number of goals. Um, you can see on the screen here, their past season, they hit, they were in the top 10 in both categories. Goals for... 8th best in the league with 296. Goals against, 300. That was in the bottom 5 in the league. So that just tells you, the Sabres, they play a, oh, I don't give a crap. Just throw everything at the net. Throw everyone forward. Let them all go. Because you know what? We're going to score 5, 6 goals a game, but that we know we're going to give up at least 3 or 4 goals a game as well. But let's just do it. Let's just let the players have fun. We will get the system and the everything else later. So that has certainly been a thing um, for Don Granato. Now that has led to some criticism that he doesn't know how to get his defenses to actually work. But let me let me remind you, Don Granato has been having to deal with Cal Clegg, Henry Yokiyarhu, Jacob Bryson, Ilya Labushkin, Riley Stillman, and a couple of other Matt Irwin. Just really bad defenseman for the, his first two and a half years. Now, that is compensated by him having Rasmus Dahlin, Owen Power, Matthias Samuelson now. And yes, I did think that when everyone was healthy, the defense wasn't that bad. They gave two to three goals a game. When they had a real goalie in Devin Levi, they only gave up two goals as well. The problem is that Don Granato, in the big moments, when he had everybody healthy, they were winning. But he didn't know how to put a line combo together. He would incessantly put Victor Olofsson on the ice over the likes of J.J. Paterka and Tyson Jost. And the fans don't know why. And that grew to become great criticism over the final stretch of this past season. 
even though the Sabres finished with their best record overall, 42-33-7, and uh, for 91 points, their first time they ever hit above 500 during the drought. There was still criticism that Don Granado could have won this team another game if he just made the right line combinations. If he had just sat Olofsson for another game, then the Sabres would be in the big dance for the first time in 11 years. Well, my one criticism of that argument is that you can't look back on these things. You know, we don't know what's going on in practice. We can only get a couple of little tweets from Sabres reporters like Mike Harrington and Lance Lasowski about what's going on in practice. We don't know what uh, 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 Victor Olofsson was doing for Don Granato. Now, we know that Olofsson does score goals and doesn't play defense, but Don Granato must have saw something in him that kept making him want to put him back on the ice again and again and again, even though Olofsson could not play defense. So that was probably Don Granato's biggest criticism, but you say that, that he doesn't know how to make lines, and I say... Look at the players he's been able to develop. This is a good thing that we're complaining about line combinations and not about players not reaching their potential. Instead, we're reaching seeing players reach their potential and then some. Like Subtage Thompson, Dylan Cousins, Rasmus Dalid, Casey Middlestad, Peyton Krebs, uh, 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 Matias Samuelson, Owen Power. Hell, even Henry Yokoyahu, for as much as I don't think he's a very good defenseman, he's improved under Don Granado. Jack Quinn, J.J. Paterka, Jeff Skinner has been reclaimed. He is finally a good winger again. Alex Tuck was not supposed to be a point-per-game player in Buffalo. He was supposed to be more around 50 points, maybe 60 points at his tops. No, instead he's hitting like 70, 80 points a season. All of this just shows to me that Don Granato knows how to develop players, which is one of the reasons why Kevin Adams decided to keep him here on a full-time basis. Don Granato knows how to develop a young team. He is a young coach. He is a very inexperienced coach. Uh, when he was, He's the main guy. He's always been an assistant in the NHL. He's been on a couple of junior programs. So in terms of actual experience, pretty good in terms of being the main guy at the NHL level not so much so as this team grows expect Don Granato to grow with them much in the same way Sean McDermott has grown with the Bills Sean McDermott was definitely a flyer when the ter- uh, the Terry and Kim Pagula took him on as the Bills head coach back in 2017 but look at what he's done and now look at what Don Granato has done with this team he's doing the same thing he's developing his young players he's building a culture from within and this is all why Don Granado is a good coach so when someone asks me Don I don't think that Donnie Granado is a good coach I say to them why why in what world is that statement true look at the improvement that The Sabres have had and have come through under Granado. They started out winning 9 out of 28 games. Now they're winning 42 out of 82 games. That's a big time improvement. That was like a 30 win percentage before and now it's a 50 win percentage now. 50% 50%, whatever. Just tell me next time folks. If you think that Don Granado, why? Give me a good reason to to challenge me on this. But I don't I, I don't think that a lot of Sabres fans believe that. I believe that there is a very vocal minority that thinks Don Granado is not a good head coach. The sizable majority believes quite the opposite, that Don Granado is the right man to lead us through this. And while this, this whole video sounds kind of like a love letter to him, I feel like it was necessary. So, folks, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? And why? Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see all of you in the next video. Peace out.